Hey and welcome to the complete web development course using PHP and MySQL. Before starting this course, firstly, I will discuss three things. What this course includes, why you take this course and demonstrate some awesome projects what we are building in this course. Now first, let's discuss what this course include. We have 120 plus video lectures and counting included in this course which means that we are gonna make new lectures all the time and you have got 15 plus hours of video course we are gonna discuss about php basics of php object oriented programming in php and mysql etc we also discussed the overview on the jQuery and some JavaScript concept. The second thing is why this course is the right course for you. Because we add lectures all the time and add new projects. This course is easy to understand. I prompt answers to your question. I do care about my students and teach them totally project based. A full and friendly support provided to my students you can send me the private messages as well. All the questions which is related to your course, I will answer. It's my pleasure to help you all the way until the end. My success depends on your success. I really want you to be successful in this course. Let's see what we are building in this course. We are building login system in this course we are building shopping cart features we also build rating systems like udemy where you can rate or leave the feedback beside that we also build the crude model which is very important for any type of developer to understand how to create update read and delete the items in the database i also gonna tell you that how you are going to go live what is cpanel and how you upload your website into the cPanel and how to buy the domain and hosting. I explain everything about the cPanel. This means that after learning that you will create your website and also you know how to live your website. Beside that you will learn how to get the IP of the active users, read the PDF files, convert the numbers into words and age calculators and much more every project is well explained and after every project you will find the explanation lecture where we execute the project and overview on the code let's just see what is the course descriptions our goal in this course is to learn and to ultimately build an applications using php and mysql this course divided in 10 plus sections each lecture include a video along with any documents or a project file from that lectures. You will also find the articles and coding challenges in this course. What you need to know before taking this course? You need the basic HTML, basic CSS. You don't need to be expert in HTML and CSS as well. The technology and the concepts we are using in this course are object oriented PHP, classes and objects, methods and the properties access specifiers destructor inheritance mysql form handling arrays and its type functions and anonymous functions and other project based php as you can see this is the course what you are looking for after learning this course i guarantee you will secure your job interview and you will start working as a freelancer i really take a personal approach to help on you achieve and success in this course hope to see you inside this course thank you hey guys in this lecture you will learn about that what is php php which is stand for hypertext preprocessor PHP is a widely used open source scripting language and PHP are executed on the server side. PHP is a server side scripting language that is embedded in HTML. It is used to manage dynamic content, databases, session tracking, even build entire e-commerce websites. So here you will need PHP. PHP which is integrated with a 
number of popular databases, including MySQL, PostgreSQL, Oracle, Sybase, Informix, and Microsoft SQL Server. PHP is so popular because it's very simple to learn and code and deploy on the server side. Hence, it has been the first choice for the beginner since decades. Here, you will see that what can PHP do? At firstly, PHP can generate dynamic page content and PHP can add, delete, modify the data in your database. Then PHP can create, open, read, write and close files on the server. PHP can collect forms data and the PHP can send and receive the cookies. You can use PHP in the large projects as well where you can create your ERP systems, CRM systems and you can create the complete e-commerce website. So the PHP is a programming language which is widely used for that purpose as well. Why we use PHP? PHP which is run on a different platforms like Windows, Linux, Unix, Mac operating systems, etc. PHP has support for a wide range of database. PHP is compatible with almost all servers used today, which is Apache, IIS, and etc. PHP is easy to learn and runs efficiently on the server side. What are the advantages of the PHP and MySQL together? It is compatible with all operating system. PHP is ideal for the web programming. The features of the PHP is which is the native support for the most popular databases. PHP creates dynamic web pages where you can control your front end of your web pages from your admin panel as well. PHP also support multi-language and everything is 100% remotely configurable. PHP is open source and free. Hence, you can freely download, install and start developing using it. PHP has a very simple and easy to understand syntax. Hence, the learning curve is smaller as compared to other scripting languages. PHP is cross-platform. Hence, you can easily develop and move deploy your PHP code and the project to almost all the major operating systems like Windows, Linux and Mac operating system. All the popular web hosting services supports PHP and also the web hosting plans for PHP are generally the amongst the cheapest plans because of its popularity. PHP is the most popular programming language because most of the CMS which is content management systems like Joomla, Drupal and WordPress are using PHP. With PHP you can create static and dynamic web pages perform file handling operations, send emails, access and modify browser cookies and almost everything else that you might want to implement in your web project. PHP can be used to create web applications like social networking. Examples are Facebook and Tig. If you want to run your blogging website on the WordPress or on a Joomla, so you have to learn PHP. You can also develop e-commerce websites in the PHP where you, you can also use the CMS like OpenCart and Magento. PHP is a common line scripting and you can create PHP script to perform the different operations on any machine. All you need is PHP parser for this. Thanks for watching this lecture. See you in next lecture. Hey guys, welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we are going to talking about what is the front end and back end in a programming language? For anyone who does not work directly with web development concept like front end versus back end development can be challenging to wrap your head around. Piles on all of the framework, programming languages, APIs, and libraries that front end developer used to build apps, and it can be very confusing. Let's just see. What is different between the front end and back end development in a programming languages? What does the front end or back end means in web or mobile app development projects? If 
these two words come back to many times before the development phase, then it can because they are particularly important in the development of a digital project by app development companies. Let's just take the example of designing a web app. Imagine that your application development company would like to develop a triple B exchange and file sharing app amongst a public accountant. For example, and a contractor to work, your app will require a user interface for the accountant client and admin interface which will be the accounted interface. To develop such an application, you will need at least two types of developers, which is the front-end developer and a back-end developers. To understand where they interface and what a reputable app development company represent back-end and front-end in the web projects, let's stay on the example. The front-end and the back-end development, let's just see the difference between them. Let us start with the definition of the concept. The behavior of any resource is based on its client-server interaction. All web projects files are hosted on a remote server, which can even be located in the other corner of the world. Everything that is located and working on that server like code, script and other files is the backend. When a user enter a website address in a browser client software, a corresponding request is sent to the server. Then some content is displayed on the screen in response. This is the front end. A back end developer is responsible for developing the server side of a website. This invisible engines, different programming languages such as PHP, Ruby, ASP.NET, Java, Node.js can be used to write a code. The specific language is chosen depending on the technical requirement of a project. And capabilities of a team and a customer. A front-end developer job is to create the client side of the website. This visual part has to look good, be user-friendly, be mobile responsive and displayed equally well using different browser like HTML, CSS and JavaScript. All this is the front-end. A number of other elements and frameworks like Bootstrap, jQuery, Angular, Ember at structures are used together with this big three in other to greatly facilitate the development. In simple words, the front end development manage everything that the user visually see first in their browser or the application and the front end developer are responsible for the look and feels of the site only. If we see the back end of the website or the back end developer. So the backend development refers to the server side of an application and everything that's communicate between the database and the browser. This is called the backend of the programming language. So this is the lecture today. Thanks for watching and see you in next lecture. Hey guys, welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, I'm going to tell you that how you can install your PHP in your system and how you can set up your environment with PHP. In order to develop and run PHP web pages, three vital components need to be installed on your computer system. The first one is web server, the second one is database, and the third one is PHP parser. So now here I will tell you that how you can install the PHP. So to install PHP, I will suggest you to install AMP, which is Apache MySQL and PHP, which is a software stack. It is available for all operating system and there are many AMP available in the market. Like you use WAMP for Windows, LAMP for Linux, MAM for Mac, SAM for Solarius and the Apache ZAM which is a cross platform so you can use anywhere you want. My recommendation is to use ZAM as your web server. So our first thing is clear that we use ZAM as the web server. So PHP will work with virtually all web server softwares including microsoft internet information which is iis but then most often use here is apache as i just tell you so you have to use apache as the web server and here you will find apache as a web server so apachefriends.org which is a website to download apache web server so here three options are available you can download apache as a window apache 
XAMPP as the Linux and Apache XAMPP as Mac operating system. Here I am just running the window operating system so I just click on this windows operating system as the XAMPP and here you can see that my XAMPP is downloading right here. So after downloading XAMPP just double click on the downloaded file and allow XAMPP to make changes in your system. So a window will pop up where you have to click on the next button as you can see on your screen. Then select the components which you want to install and then go to next. Here in this step the XAMPP needed the local folder. So by default the local disk folder here is C disk and then the folder name here is XAMPP and then you move ahead and click on next. After clicking on next you will find the next screen here and you just proceed with next button. After installing you will find the finished button. So a finish window will display after successful installation and just click on the finish button. After finish button there are two language supports which is German and English. Here you will find the XAMPP so just click on start and start here. If you already install other SQL so here you will find the port error. How to clear the port error you just click on config and go to my INI file. Here you will find that the port number. So just change your port number from 6 to 7 or anything you want. Now I will tell you that how you can change your port number which is this port number 80. Before that I was working with a MySQL port number. Now here you can see that you just go to Apache HTTPD config file and here just search on control F. By default port number here is 80. So you just leave this. And here you can see that this is a listen so my port number here is 8080 because I am just running two SQL for that purpose my port number 80 is already booked. So if you want to change as a port 8080 or 8081 so you just change here okay. Then you just find next so just change here as well for the local host so two time you have to change this port number and then close your XAMPP and then start your XAMPP as well. Now just come back to Google Chrome. Here you will find adobe.com product which is Dreamweaver. So Dreamweaver is not a free product. Remember that. You just get the free trial version or you have to buy it. The Dreamweaver is a software which is designed for the web pages. These HTML web pages are fully featured. You will see is what you get interface for creating and editing the web pages. The Adobe Dreamweaver software supports many markup languages like HTML, XHTML, CSS and JavaScript. It supports English, Spanish, French, German, Japanese, Chinese etc. The Dreamweaver was developed by Micromedia and it was published in 1997. In 2005 the Adobe has purchased Dreamweaver and named it as Adobe Dreamweaver. My recommendation is to use Adobe Dreamweaver because it is fast flexible in coding set up your site and few other steps so it will also dynamic display on every device it's provide the multi monitor support git support and lot of other options as well how you can install this adobe dreamweaver so just click on this buy now so i already have this adobe dreamweaver license i am gonna use this as you can see here i have dreamweaver cc 2019 setup as a 64 bit so here you just click on simply autoplay you just click on install here and then after clicking on install button a new window will be appearing like this you can see here just simply provide the path here and click on continue so your software here is installing so i already have this adobe dreamweaver so let's just run it as you can see here this is adobe dreamweaver cc 2019 so here you can see that this is a simple united file how are you gonna create this simply click on new and here you will find the multi linguistic support here which is html css scss javascript php and a lot of other options are available here so i just click on php here and click on create so after creating this you will find this i united to file here so i just save this as the demo.php as extension name so here you can see that this is a demo so you can see here this is demo.php our third option here is bracket which is totally free you just simply click on download and install this there are also a lot of options are available in brackets as well so you can install the brackets and on brackets on the linux operating system and the windows operating systems as well how you can download and install let's just see 
as you can see on your screen so just simply click on brackets download here you can see here bracket download after downloading this you will find the windows like this after clicking on next so your software will be simply installing and after installation you just click on finish button and you will find this screen like this this is how you can install the bracket so as you can see here that this is our technology stack what we are going to use in this course my recommendation is to install adobe dreamweaver with xamp but if you do not want to purchase it so here is a free options available which is a bracket or you can use notepad plus plus or notepad thanks for watching see you in next lecture